Hey guys, this is Jim here. Uh, I was going to do a little tutorial on how to get swirl marks and uh, sanding marks out of a black paint job. I'm working on this uh, 1961 Chevy Impala uh, model by Lindbergh. This is the hood from that kit. And I'm um, out here at my workbench and I was going to show you um, from beginning to end how I was able to accomplish this. Now I've uh, got a piece of cardboard, just cereal box or something, any kind of cardboard, and I put some tape on the bottom of it, looped it around so that this won't blow off when I go to spray paint it. Um, use some 1200 grit paper from, uh, I use the Tamiya sandpaper, works pretty well. And then after I sand it, I use these, uh, these little tack cloths. You get them at Home Depot or Lowe's for a couple bucks. And what I do is I cut these things into, I cut the pack into squares. Uh, I get about four squares out of this, and uh, I get these nice little uh, pieces of tack cloth. You don't need much. And after I sand it, I kind of wipe this down to make sure I get all the uh, sanding particles off of it so it's a little bit smooth and not as rough. But uh, let me go ahead and uh, paint, shoot this with a, a layer of primer, and I'll be right back. Okay, I went ahead and shot this uh, with some white primer. I used the Tamiya Fine Surface Primer on this. Uh, I find this to be about... If you're going to work with uh, Tamiya products, I say stick with the Tamiya Primer. Uh, it works best. Went ahead, do about uh, two coats on this, and let it dry thoroughly. And we're going to sand this, and then we're going to go ahead and paint. We'll be right back. Okay, we got this uh, primered hood. Now, I, I've sanded it lightly again with 1200 grit paper just to scuff it up. Uh, that's all I did. And uh, now we're going to go ahead and shoot it with the uh, the black, Tamiya black. It's just a regular black, the TS-14. And we're going to shoot it with that. And... Uh, I can't stress enough about using the tack cloth. Uh, the tack cloth makes a big difference. You don't have to um, rub it real hard. Just do it lightly just to pick up the uh, sanding uh, dust and all that. But that does make the difference on this paint job. So I stress highly to use the tack cloth. Also, uh, also going to stress when we're using these paints, uh, use some kind of uh, breathing uh, filter of some sort. This stuff is... Uh, yeah, after a while it can be harmful to you. Uh, so I highly recommend that you wear a mask when spraying this stuff. And we're gonna go ahead and spray this and we're gonna be right back. Okay guys, this is what we got so far. We've had sanded the, we painted this thing black, uh, like what it said with the Tamiya black. And now we, then we sanded it with 6,000 grit paper, uh, wet sanded it and after I wet sand it, again, I use the tack cloth because, like I said, we want to make sure we get everything out of it. And now I just sprayed this with two coats of the, it's the uh, testers, one coat, it's the uh, wet look. They call it the wet look. And I've put at least uh, two coats on there now. This is just, I just finished this like about 10 seconds ago. So that's where we're at so far. We gotta wait for this to dry, let it gas out, and then we'll come back and uh, I'll start tomorrow and we'll start the uh, buffing and polishing process that uh, I've been wanting to show you. But I wanted to show you this from the beginning to the end so you guys get an idea of how this actually works. I know a lot of people do know how to paint uh, and such, but uh, I wanna show it from beginning to end. So we're going to let this thoroughly dry, these two coats, and tomorrow I'm going to start again and we're going to buff this out with the uh, technique I've uh, been telling you about. We'll see you then. Hey guys, here we go. Now this is the last step of uh, polishing out this uh, black paint job. Uh, I got it all cleared here. That's about three coats of clear, uh, the wet look uh, by testers. It's the tester's lacquer wet look. And uh, we got it ready here with a, I don't know if you can see it or not. Let's see if I can get the, it's got, a, it's got a decent shine to it. There are a few things that got in there as it was drying. Um, so we're gonna make that look a lot better. Now we got some, the Detail Masters uh, polishing kit here. We got 6,000 uh, 
four thousand and uh, going up, you know, eight thousand and, and twelve thousand grit. Now, I recommend that this is what is being used or to use to do this uh, technique. Uh, that's about the only thing that's really going to work. Uh, you could get other sandpapers, but I don't think they last as long. I've had these for almost a year now. Uh, got a little cup of water here. Always doing the wet sanding technique. Got to have some water handy. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, get started with, uh, let's try the uh, 600 grit first. And what I do is I get a, dip in a little bit of water, and then we're going to get started uh, sanding it with 600 right now. Now you want to stay away from these high ridges like this on this hood it has a high ridge there's some uh, curves and indentations here in the uh, hood so we want to not press so much on those areas we just want to try to scuff this up to get the uh, the, the pieces that have fallen in there I call it little fallout pieces or lint or dust or such and we're gonna work with this all over it again like I said stay away from the sharp corners and edges uh, so let's let's uh, let me rough this up and we'll be right back. Okay, as you can see, we got this uh, sanded down with the six thousand grit. I probably said six hundred earlier, but uh, this is six thousand grit. And uh, what we want to do is just level out the uh, clear coat. Is what we're trying to do. You can see the high and low spots as you sand. Uh, like I said, uh, try to stay away from the edges and of course this crest right here at the top. Uh, you don't want to touch that. Um, the bush, the polishing, polishing stuff we're going to use will brighten that up, but we just wanted to level this out um, and uh, get this all leveled. And uh, we're going to move on to the next step. Now we're going to start using the uh, 8000 grit here, and uh, we get started with that, and we'll be right back. Okay, now we're done with the 8000 grit paper, and as you can see, we're getting kind of like a matte shine here, or like a semi gloss sheen. Uh, we're getting close to the end here. Now, um, the last and final step I use is the uh, 12,000 grit paper, and we're going to start working on that. And uh, again, like I said, use, use your water here. And uh, we're just going to go, I just go in little circles, and again, try to stay away from this ridge here. You don't want to cut into that because that will definitely uh, eat through the paint and the clear coat itself because there's not much floating here. Now, there's probably quite a bit floating in this uh, channel on either side. Uh, that gives us a little bit more lead way, but uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, finish with this and we'll be right back. Okay, here's what we got so far. Let's wipe this off so we can get a good look here. Now this is what we got so far with the 1200 grit. Um, try not to get it too dry. Keep it um, pretty much damp. And as you can see, we're getting pretty decent shine right now. This is uh, looking pretty good. Um, and now, here comes the final step. This is the stuff that I found. Let's get it in here. This stuff I found at like a Discount Auto Parts or at a AutoZone or any of your local uh, auto parts places in the details section. But this is the stuff I've been using to get the scratches out. I uh, did a lot of research on uh, car paint jobs and such and this is the stuff that I found that works the best. Now what I do with this stuff is that I get a, a just a piece of paper towel here and we're gonna put just a little bit of it here on a, the paper towel itself. Whoop! And let's clean some of it. We don't want to waste this stuff. This stuff is about, depends on where you buy it it could be anywhere between $3 to $6 uh, for the container itself. Um, I saw it on Amazon for $2.99, and uh, it depends on really where you buy it. So um, I try not to get too much on there. Like I got a little bit too much, but uh, we just I just work in a circle pattern here. And uh, we just keep... Like again, I try to stay away from this ridge here because uh, this stuff kind of pretty much cuts into the clear pretty well. And uh, I just work in like a circular motion. I just uh, lightly wipe it around the edges here. And uh, 
just keep working at it here. Now this stuff really doesn't dry that well. It kind of dries to a haze, but it's not like car wax. Um, it's not the same. But then I use, uh, I get a real soft towel. I got this towel for like six bucks uh, alongside with the clean this uh, product as well. And it's really uh, like a microfiber towel. And I just wipe it off here in a circular motion. Now you might have to do this, oh, more than once, I'd say. I, I've done it like three or four times uh, working this out. I see some... Uh, small fine, fine scratches here and there but I'm telling you this stuff really works pretty good um, I haven't tried it on any other color but the black so far um, I'm sure it'd do a lot better in uh, some other colors but black is always the hardest to get the, the scratches out because it's so more such visible but as you can see, if I keep working on this, I'm going to get this to pop even more. Um, that's just one coat of this okay, stuff. Okay, guys, here we go. Here's the final product. Now, I put at least uh, three applications of this uh, scratch out on here. And uh, I also put a little bit of the uh, Meguiar's Carnuba uh, wax on there. That helps keep the uh, fingerprints off and such. But uh, that is the final product. Um... I probably could do a little bit more, but uh, leave it up to you guys. But I am no way endorsing any of these products. Uh, I'm just trying to put something out there to help uh, fellow YouTube model builders, and all model builders, that is, uh, to uh, build better models and better paint jobs out there. But uh, let me know what you guys think, and I hope this uh, works out for you. I hope you all are having a great day, and you all take care. God bless. Bye-bye.